Hello everyone, this is Raquel Rock. Thank you once again for tuning back into my channel. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. I had a great time with my family and uh, of course, always have some good food, good memory, laughs and everything. Now today's Friday, it's the day after Thanksgiving um, and the food is just too good to be called leftovers in my opinion. So that's why the title of this one, I said Thanksgiving Dinner Revisited. So as promised, like I said I would just come up with a little tasting plate on um, the day after Thanksgiving dinner that um and just kind of like you know I didn't take any pictures of us making the food or doing that. It was just, you know, a, a nice intimate fun family um affair and just laughing and having a great time. Now I will let you know that I probably will not get this up today um after editing and working on some other things, but I will definitely try to get this posted by, you know, the end of the weekend. Now, we did have um, dessert as well. Now, I did not have that on camera because I'm going to actually eat that later on um, tonight with some of the sweets that I'm going to be having. Um, but we did have the um, it's butter pecan cake with a buttercream icing and buttercream ice cream. And then choice if you want jello. You can mix and match however you want to. Now, some people I know in their menu, they consider yams as a sweet, but yams is something you know, we like to have with our food. So I'll have some still pictures as well. And like I said, I know I could not get from where I'm setting up right now, could not get the full plate. But I'll give you a rundown here. I just left, sliced some of the turkey breast with gravy on there, have some hickory smoked ham, stuffing, macaroni and cheese, which I love. It has all the, it's the creaminess and it has different cheeses, especially that smoked Gouda, that be hitting different. And then we have the fresh snaps, and which my sister and I enjoyed like snaps in, <laughs> having so many laughs, collard greens, that's candy yams, potato salad, and behind here we have homemade cornbread and a roll. Now, um, I love, I'm trying to think what's the best way to do this. I bought me a little tiny plate. I'm not sure if I take the tray off will be easier to put something in the plate or not. Or maybe I'll just bring the plate. Now for beverages, we always have a mixture of beverages, you know, something for everybody, whether you want to have a glass of wine, of course there's always tea, coffee, um, lemonade, um, sparkling, you know, grape juice. But I just have me a, a glass of water with some lemon here on the side. But, um, what was I going to say next? I don't know. How about let me just take a couple of bites here? I'm a little hungry. I'm telling y'all. Hold on a minute. Let me get a napkin. Pause for the calls. Now, one of the things I will tell you with the um, greens. Now, we love fresh greens and we have collard greens and you know fresh snaps and everything but during the holidays is when we really get to have what we call them the hockey fire greens we put a little either like a ham hock in there or a smoked turkey leg so we've been good like all year so it's okay to just you know have a little bit as you can see my sister in the back. <laughs> she is clapping get you some of this i'm gonna put it on the plate so that way it'll be a good uh, as you work on the angle so i'm just gonna put a little of that what are some of your thanksgiving staples or you know, it's like a lot of people know traditional turkey. Some people don't, you know. Like one of the, like people have certain things like, uh, what's the cranberry? I don't. But definitely a turkey and ham. And that homemade gravy. Now, um, as I, well, I said it too in my live, I hope you all were able to watch that. If you haven't, that you will look into the live. I did say um, another thing that we do on Thanksgiving, um, night after dinner and everything we do go and light the um the christmas decorations on the outside and so i may give you a little sneak peek at the end of this video a sneak peek in here somewhere but i'll do like the full decor throughout um, the vlog is coming up look in a couple of days mm, that's so good y'all y'all know when it's starting in. <laughs> it's it <getting> quiet <laughs> But, let me see what else, this won't be a long video. Um, something else, um, oh, it says, this probably will be like rounding out the last video I'll do for this month. Um, so it'll give me some time to work on some other things. I've got some things up my sleeve for Vlogmas. Um, I know I mentioned before, whether or not I was gonna push for the 25 days or the 12 days. And, da 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 da. And I'm going in, push forward to the 25 with the air bubble in the throat. And 25 days of Vlogmas. So that's coming up soon. So 
um one is i'm gonna do some parades and perhaps a lot of like christmas events um last vlogmas i did um it was two light shows i went to um they do have a parade here it's um actually next saturday and it has where you can stream it and have like a watch party or something i never tried it before but i'll find out how that works i'm not sure if it's a link and then i just go live but i'm still a newbie i'm learning here but um just in case that's like um possibly tentatively mark your calendars for the third um i'll do another update of course before then to find out um you know if i was able to figure it out you know i'm telling y'all it's so good and one thing I love about this homemade potatoes, I told my sister, my mom, hands down. And it's the thing because the consistency of potatoes are perfect. The eggs are made just right. And the knife cuts on everything, the celery, everything is so uniform that, you know, the flavors get all through it. And then it tastes good the minute you make it, but then like, we used to make it the day before. So when those flavors have time, they sit and get all through there. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. It's dynamite. Um, what else? I don't say I don't want to make this too long. Um, but whew, can you believe it's been a year? It will be a year that um, like basically since I've been because I started with Vlogmas last year. But I want to say as always. Oh my gosh! Oh, I didn't want to say oh my gosh. I'm saying the food was so good. That's why I said oh my gosh. <laughs> my sister's a trip. It was never a dull moment right here with us. Ever. It was so fun. But, um, let me finish two of this bike. Come here. <laughs> this is so good. And as I said, I'm still going to load my fork up for something else. Let me sit this down for a minute. <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> oh, another thing I want to mention, too. As I always said, like, with different things, like how you shop. Or, like, for make your grocery, your list, or whatever you want to call it. You can make so many things. It's like, even with all the beautiful, like, the turkey breast. We make the greatest, like, sandwiches after it. I mean, it's like, you know, beautiful turkey. This fresh turkey breast roasting um and everything like that and you put your lettuce tomatoes and you know you want to put bacon crisp up some bacon on there um and cheese and everything toast up some good bread you do sandwiches and then with the dark meat if you want to make some um rice and you know, turkey and rice and gravy and you can chop up you know some of the turkey breasts as well and put it on a salad it's just the possibilities are endless and like and you can do like when you have your cold cut sandwich well not cold cut because it's a fresh turkey breast you know, maybe instead of chips, you can have like a little bit of potato salad. But anyway, I just wanted to say, as always, I end with it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so excited and I appreciate the likes and subscribes. And remember to like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, and leave a comment. Even if it's just to say hi, I will say hi back. And don't forget to check my community tab every so often because it doesn't always give a note, um, give a notification. I'll put like um polls on there, some sneak peeks, some behind the scenes, um, and then keep an eye out. Of course, I'll give another update if I do find out how to do the watch party. So keep an eye on that. And once again, until next time, this is Raquel Rock Matinee.